this means opportunity. And this kind of goes back to like the U.S. history days when we talk about like the land of opportunity. Ole Miss is a land of opportunity for everyone. Ole Miss is Mr. Freddie, like giving me a big high five when I get on the bus headed to class. It's Professor Bernie in an accounting class, closing every single Friday class with the fight song, having her like literally at the front of the class with a pom pom ready to go. I've been able to make relationships and friendships with people from across the world. I mean, Ole Miss has students from over 90 different countries, and it's so special to kind of see everyone that has ended up in Oxford, Mississippi somehow. Every resource and every opportunity and everything that I, you know, hope to acquire in future. So in a simple word, I would say Ole Miss has become everything to me. I think a lot of people have different interpretations of what Ole Miss, but to me it just it means the place where like I found a home, um, away from home. So it's hard to have, you know, a short list of people that I think of who were really influential and who were always there for me. But the majority of individuals on that list are definitely the faculty and staff at the university. Um, I encourage everyone that I meet, anyone going to college or just in general, just get to know those people who, you know, have the privilege of teaching us and, you know, bestowing wisdom upon us, as some of my professors like to say. Having that support system of black staff and black faculty members as a black student before I even came to Ole Miss is continuous having them as a support system throughout my time here has definitely been very beneficial to me and it's actually been kind of like my home and my safe space. I don't think I can just pick one person, but I can pick a group and I'll have to say it's the Sally McDonald Barksdale Honors College. This community has challenged me academically through all the classes I've taken with the Honors College, but also provided me with resources to conduct research. I'm working on my honors thesis right now, and this project is something that I've really enjoyed working on and wouldn't have had the opportunity if I wasn't a part of the Honors College. I'm really grateful that Dr. Nathan Hammer took a chance on me. If it wasn't for his encouragement and his support, and his constant like pushing me to do better and honestly like belief in me and kind of empowering me and giving me all these opportunities i wouldn't be where i am today when you think about you know coming to college you don't really expect you know you're alone at first and once once you start meeting people and making connections making memories and just getting to experience things with other people it makes that much more special because you're not facing anything alone. You got people beside you that's, you know, making it better every step of the way. This was the wonderful four years of my life. And, you know, I don't want to leave. It went too soon. So I guess uh, I'm sad in a way, but I'm in happy because there's some other things that are waiting for me in my life. And I look forward what's next in my life. I remember saying like, oh, I'm going to graduate here in like three and a half years. I think that was a dream of mine freshman year. And looking back, I'm like, wow, was I crazy? <laughs> like, no, I want to stay here as long as I possibly can. This kind of chapter being closed is a lot more bitter than sweet for me because I have like kind of found my place in Ole Miss and I've been able to you know truly be happy where I am. It's definitely bittersweet for me just because of a lot of things that I've gotten used to with being an undergrad here. Um, they're coming to an end and I'm starting to see just how special they were. current situation with the coronavirus and things I would have done differently if I would have known it was coming. I'm not sure if there is, you know, a definitive thing that I would change because the last four years, the last few months, they've been incredible. Um, I got to, you know, sit on the uh, the court when Brian Tyree scored 40 points in Mississippi State. That was huge. But, um, you know, if I if I knew that things were going to change as much as they had, I would have taken less for granted. I would I would have spent more time investing in my friendships and my relationships with people and just really appreciate appreciating this campus and the people. I definitely would have attended more basketball games <laughs> and more baseball games. Um, those are my favorite pastimes at Ole Miss. Sorry, football. We think that like we're able to pace ourselves, but like something like this happens and it really allows us to really think about what we take for granted daily. And that's just being around the positivity and the high spirited individuals that attend the University of Mississippi. I took for granted the fact that when I left for spring break, I would see all these same faces again a week later. 
I would have taken I would have taken more time to value that at the in the moment instead of just assuming I had those seven weeks after after spring break to have that closure. I definitely would have invested more time in friends and I guess saying those last goodbyes instead of waiting to the last minute or waiting to graduation day. Um, I'm typically the person, I don't really go out that much, so I probably would have actually went out more with my friends knowing that I didn't have the opportunity to do it um, now because of COVID-19. I mean, what would you do differently? You know, because everyone says you're gonna get here as a freshman, you're gonna take your selfie in front of the Walk of Champions with your new friends that you met at Welcome Week, and you're gonna blink and all of a sudden, you're being handed a diploma. Life is uncontrollable and we can't, you know, ever take any day for granted, so. It was probably the worst week of my life, you know, <laughs> had found out that I wasn't coming back to school and that, you know, the world was being turned completely upside down. But I actually got an email that um, said that I was accepted in the Tulane um, University School of Medicine. So I will officially be moving to New Orleans, um, hopefully, if everything clears up. I recently accepted a position at the National Institutes of Health, like a post-baccalaureate fellow and I'm gonna be doing research there for two years and then I'm hopefully going to apply to an MD-PhD program to be a physician scientist. I'll probably go for my master's and then we'll go to a job market in a finance field after that. I recently got accepted to the University of Mississippi um, Master of Business Administration program. So I'll be here an extra year, actually in, um, in the fall. If I'm lucky, uh, things will normalize and I'll be in Washington, D.C. in a few weeks working at a lobbying firm that's, uh, you know, ran by some Ole Miss alumni, which is exciting. Um, and then if I'm really lucky, I'll be sitting in a law school, a law class, the College of Law at the University of Tennessee in the fall. The plan is to go into grad school after um, I graduate and then I'm planning on pursuing a degree in environmental and green chemistry at, the, at George Washington University. I will then hopefully go pursue a degree, a law degree, where I don't know yet, but that is the plan. Um, hopefully a job. <laughs> uh, <laughs> what that job will look like and what it will be, um, I don't know because COVID has kind of hurt a lot of hiring process um, processes, um, but something that will make an impact on people and do something that helps um, resolve inequity. In August of 2020, I will be attending Louisiana State University, obtaining a, obtain a master's degree in higher education and student affairs. Um, I'll also be serving as as a grad assistant in the Financial Management Center, um, in the Olindi Career Center um, in the Union. So it's gonna be really fun helping students find um, their way financially and teaching them the importance of financial literacy. Yeah, so I am going to join AmeriCorps for a year and serve with City Year. I'm really excited about it. It's working to help close opportunity gaps for kids in high need, low income, um, rural or inner city school districts. So we're gonna be doing some tutoring, some mentorship, hopefully a year full of um, inspiration and just really helping kids have those extra educational resources so that they can have the self-efficacy needed to itself. I'll be going to Oxford, England, studying at the University of Oxford for two years. So I'll be doing, I'll be leaving in September, hopefully, if everything clears up with the virus. And so I'll be doing that. I'll be studying law at Pembroke College. first semester and second semester freshman year like I had a hard time fitting in and I thought that there was something wrong with me and I know that social media can be misleading but I saw everyone like oh I love Ole Miss like Ole Miss is so great and I was like I don't always feel that way and like what's wrong with me and it got to the point where I applied to transfer but I remember telling myself like okay before I leave before I make this decision I'm gonna make sure I do everything I can and try to like see like explore other options here and get involved with other things and i ultimately stayed so it's okay if you're not feeling like this is your home like it might take a little bit longer for you so don't like don't think that there's anything wrong with that or anything wrong with you 
just work hard and always be persistent in determining what it is that you want to do with your life and what you believe in because sometimes you will have people who think sometimes you should just shut up and not say anything but you know that if you don't speak up about it then who else will so as an international student is it's always difficult for us or anybody to step out of their comfort zone at the very beginning so i think uh the first thing we need to do is try and get out of that comfort zone and see where life takes you. And it's not every day you'll be unsuccessful. So sometimes if you just step out of your comfort zone, you might, you know, the success might be waiting for you. So I, I just encourage everybody just to step out of their comfort zone and look for the career interest and then pursue that. You know, there might be challenges in a way, but there's always a light at the end of the tunnel. If I were to give advice to people, just do what you're passionate about. Find those things where you can make the biggest impact. Find those things that you are driven towards, um, desire to work for every single day, because that's when the true result and the true success that people want come you know hotty toddy go rebs i'll miss this place i'll definitely be back i'm excited to be an alumni and do my part and whatever that means um you know and i wish the best for the future classes and for the future students